there are a set of tools that companies often use to help with their enter enterprise architecture programs, and they're really called enterprise architecture modeling tools. There's a lot of them out there on the market. Uh, we, we've used just about every tool that there is. I use a degree of caution with people when I take them into a tool or when they're, you know, I often get asked, should we get a tool and which tool? The problem with the tools, they, like any tool, they require a lot of care and feeding. So you really need to think about the maturity of your EA program and of your architects and do you have the time to put into the care and feeding that the tool is going to require. They're very powerful. They, they you know, can capture your integration, your application portfolio. They can link down to your infrastructure. They can provide risk analysis. Really powerful tools, but it doesn't come without a cost. So organizations really need to understand what they're trying to achieve and then determine if the tool's going to uh, going to meet that need and also make sure that they pick a tool that they can manage. Some of them are really complex with a very high level of capabilities, but naturally those tools require a lot more care and feeding. Other tools are simpler. We'll give you some of the basics and they're a lot easier to use. So it's a, it's a, it has to do with the maturity of your program, selecting the right tool. We often help companies do that, figure out where they're at, what tool makes sense um, and get them started. And we've even, you know, in some cases said to companies, you're not quite ready for this, let's start with spreadsheets. And uh, it's not ideal, but it's a way to start to capture the data. And then when you're ready for the tool, you can import it in quite easily.